A few months ago, I announced to the world that I'm giving away my luxury Model S Tesla. But to win the Tesla, you have to submit the very best video documenting how Just One Dime or Seth Kniep have helped you in your journey. 58 of you submitted gripping videos, but seven of you won. Today, we are flying across the United States, giving away over $136,000 worth of prizes, including my very first Tesla to seven lucky winners. I have a family member here and he said, come up to Prescott, let's do a coffee shop. And so I came out to kind of help out, but my role was cut. And then two weeks later, the world closed down for COVID. We just got married and we're in the immigration process and we're stuck here. What have I done? I brought this Irish girl to come follow my dreams. I felt like every major decision I made in the previous two years was for nothing. My low point was when my dad passed away about five years ago. I was going back and forth between Austin and Houston. And again, I was working a full-time job while doing that. And I made the decision that I never wanted to have to choose between family and a paycheck. Marsha's mom raised her and her brother on a single income. She was near bankruptcy and she was still wanting to give and give and give just to make sure Marsha was taken care of. My wife is one of the most giving, generous people that I've ever met and she gets that from her mom. I think there's no more powerful thing you can do on this earth than give back to your parents. I was on Etsy and I was doing swimmingly well and I just made that one mistake. But they suspend me and I was shut down. I made about two grand a month on that shop. That was like our grocery money. That was my car payment. That was gone. And I was like, okay, what do I do now? So I lost my dad in 2012. He was 59 and he was always my, um, my cheerleader. Didn't matter because I'm black or female. I could do anything, because my dad said I could do anything. My father died in a motorcycle accident. I had financial pressures because me and my daughter's father separated when I was pregnant at 20 years old. Doesn't pay child support or anything. So fast forward into college, I could barely afford wipes, you know, for my daughter. I was living in like a 500 square foot one bedroom apartment for like the first like three to four years basically. So that's when I started working in the hospitality industry and bartending and waitressing. And I'm working till three or four o'clock in the morning. And for almost a decade, I've been providing for my daughter, but I remember like one of the things that she would always like write was, dear mom, I wish you were here, you know? And um, that's emotional for me, you know, because, uh, sorry, I spent about a decade of, of not being there. My husband was working the typical nine to five job Monday through Friday, and I was working nights and weekends because we thought, that's great, we don't need to worry about daycare. But what happened is that we were never together as a family. And then I looked at the schedule one day, and I was on for the next three weeks in a row, and I was crushed. My heart sunk. I'm like, I can't do this anymore. That wasn't my choice. That was someone else telling me that. And that meant all of that time away from my family, all of that time not feeling fulfilled. There has to be something more to life and we just knew that we had to make a change. Simultaneously, we bought this bus, and so we knew we wanted to live simply. We knew that we could give up our house. We wanted freedom. 2019, mom dies towards the end of the year. $17,000 in debt with losing work and loans. I started working at nights, third shift, through probably April, Corona hit. My painting career ends. Nobody wants you in their place anymore. Starting to fall behind on bills. My product hits Amazon. I find out the manufacturers are selling it. It's pulling money. It's taking my time. It's taking me away from my wife, my family. And my wife says, uh, I don't want you selling on Amazon anymore. And I think she wants a divorce. I realized like I was leaving them behind. My son, David, had a desire to be a professional snowboard. It took more money than we had, so we took out a home equity line of credit. Through a couple years of training and traveling and competing, that home equity loan was gone. I think that was probably my lowest moment, is to see them 
make that big of a sacrifice for me to follow my dream, which is awesome because it's not possible without them. I felt like it was on my shoulders because maybe I didn't manage it right. It's like, how are we going to make any more money for him to compete? I started watching YouTube videos and just searching online and came across just one dime. Seth has a Friday Q&A and I happened to hop on that. He told me what to do. Ended up selling out of my product in six weeks. I have more learning to do, but Seth and Just One Dime, that is the program to help me to get there. Your story or just a combination of different testimonies, just like, I don't want to answer to a boss anymore. Just encouragement that you can do it, you've done it. And the way he talks about how he's provided for his wife and his family, and we want to do the same. I was in the fortunate position to be in was, was to make a choice. Life gives you signs sometimes. And I knew there was an opportunity out there in the e-commerce space, and that door was open to me from there. When I found out about Private Label, I was looking for a mentor. And through that, I found out about the Just One Dime community. I go searching on YouTube, and I find Just One Dime, and I'm like, ah. <laughs> And I think that your channel is easily my Amazon Bible. I can search that little tab and find any video to cover any topic and that's like, that's godsend. So I remember watching the video several times and I even ask questions and then I get a response. And you're just literally just trying to help me. You're just doing it because God has blessed you and you wanna help other people the same way because you have core family values. And when I saw that, I was like, just one diamond Seth, like this is where it's at. I want to be a seller on Amazon because I don't want to sell my time to people for money. It's been like that since I was a kid. When I messaged you that I quit, you said slow down because she probably feels like you're dragging her through it and not taking her along. And that's exactly what I was doing. I was just drawn to your will do, can do attitude about life. And that's what you need when you're at that point, when you're so low. The Just One Dime mentoring program, Amazon FBA program, gave me the steps that I needed for success. We've given up some of the security and some of the comforts of having a house, having a stable paycheck, but we feel like we're gaining so much more. All right, applying full time. I can't see black. nothing, dude. Is that good? Okay, good? yeah. I am so honored to be able to present this to you, Linda and David. Johnny. Shane and Claire. Leticia. Lori. Shabon. Steve. Are you ready for this? You guys took action. You're selling on Amazon. You've applied what you've learned. You're hustling. And David, your passion and your desire to win the snowboarding Olympics in Beijing is incredibly inspiring. So this is our gift to you to help fund the expenses of travel to make it happen. Oh my goodness, wow. We believe this is gonna be a huge help to you and for your daughter. You're not working, you're living on savings. Yeah. What would be the most valuable to you so you can move forward? Thank you. You're moving to action on your seven products. You also shared very vulnerably about how much you appreciate and respect your mother-in-law who raised who is your wife today and you're blessed by that. That is <laughs> freaking awesome. Your passion for your family, this is a boost to help you keep going. You made this happen on your own. Now what we want to do is come alongside and support that even further. You get lifetime training and coaching oh from just one day. You've had a lot of stuff work against you. You decided to turn that into strength. And for that, you have my eternal respect. And this is our way of saying thank you for being an example of someone who will freaking not give up. I don't know what to say. You sold your house. You turned a school bus into a new house. You're doing this for your three very young children. You're selling on Amazon. Like, you're doing, you're not talking. And that this is just one other piece to help you guys get there faster. Thank you so much. You guys have shown an incredible amount of resilience. And so I have great respect for you guys. So that's why we came all the way out here to Arizona to give this to you guys. And here is a $100 gift card to Walmart. We'll take it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it.
That is yours. most looking forward to sharing. I love to give just to be able to do things where others are hurting and I can help with that. Being able to help him to accomplish his goals is it's a dream come true. Sometimes it has nothing to do with money but overcoming and building something my parents can be proud of and something that we can leave this earth a, a better place. Fear and anxiety can sometimes paralyze you as a first time Amazon seller. And I think when you're able to overcome that with the help of just one dime, it's incredibly rewarding to look back on that. Most people for the moment, they don't think about generational wealth. They don't think about longevity. What you're doing is you're gonna be like, hey, it's gonna be hard work, but I'm gonna teach you this so you have it for the rest of your life. If I was to give advice to someone, watch Seth's videos. If you were to put half the amount of work in your full-time job, it's gonna be more rewarding, it's gonna be more liberating, you're gonna have more free time, but you're gonna taste and see that it works. There's never gonna be the right time. That's why I run instead of walk, because I know if I walk, I'm gonna find an excuse. If you don't get started now, you're never gonna start. I wanna go bigger. I wanna give more. I want to continue to grow and expand and learn and embrace being able to Move from one thing to the next. Don't get married to a product, don't get married to a platform, and pivot quickly. I think if I had waited more than that month, I might have gotten to a place where I was like, I should just stop this whole online thing and just get a job. You get knocked down, you don't retreat, you reload. You get back up and you keep going. Don't feel stuck. You don't have to go to that job that you hate every day just to pay the bills. For the people that are wondering, can they do this? Can they be successful selling on Amazon? Absolutely, yes, do it. Take the leap, you can be successful. If I can do it, so can you. You know, every single story that we have listened to as we go around handing out these prizes has one theme in common. They started with very little and they moved to action based on what they had. In fact, they didn't just give up or claim to be victims for the rest of their life. They took their pains and their sufferings and their hurts and they turned it into power. They turned it into strength call them winners, but they were winners before we ever nominated them as winners because they chose to move to action. Success starts in here and then it moves out. So it doesn't matter how little you're starting with. Even if you feel like you're at the bottom of the barrel, even if you feel like everything's been torn away from you, in that moment, you come to realize that you have what you need and maybe what you need is that suffering and pain to make you strong so that you can succeed and then someday, you don't just create margin for you and those you love, but other people and their story.